Happy Monday, folks. Andy Drifter here. It's been a few weeks, but we got a new episode of Card Show Pickups going down right now. And the first card that I have for your viewing is this 2024 Topps Baseball Series 1 Aqua Refractor of now Red Sox left fielder Tyler O'Neill. You can make the argument that Tyler O'Neill is the most jacked guy in baseball. He is obviously a gym rat. Spent the first six years of his career in St. Louis, and during that time, he won back-to-back Gold Glove Awards as well as one top 10 MVP finish. The talent was always there. It was a question of durability. Over the past couple of seasons, he has suffered from injuries, which has caused him to miss games. But now he has a fresh start in Beantown, and so far, he is making the most of it. At the time of this recording, he is the major league leader in home runs. He's got seven And who knows, maybe Tyler O'Neill could be a dark horse in that AL MVP race. Scored this in a dollar bin. Never front on the dollar bin. Sometimes you can find some really nice cards there, and this is an example of just that. Next up is a signed rookie card from 2023 Topps Baseball Series 1 of prolific base stealer Esto Ori Ruiz. It is numbered to 299 last year. Despite missing a month or so of baseball, he set the... Rookie record for most swiped bags in a season. He stole 67. This year, in the small sampling that we got to see him play, he was batting 429 in three games, only striking out once. And in a head scratching maneuver, Oakland demoted him to AAA, saying that he needs to work more on his plate discipline. By doing that, he'll get on base more, steal more bases, and produce more runs. I think it was a controlling mechanism over his contract and his future. Oakland has done this before in the past. That being said, Ruiz, he is continuing to produce at the AAA level at Oakland. Uh, They are 7-9, which by their standards is not all that bad. So hopefully we will see Ruiz back in the big show sooner than later. You know, it's a shame. Oakland is such a storied franchise, so much history, so many legendary players who have worn the green and gold and now since the change of ownership they have been in a steady constant decline from my understanding they're going to make the move to las vegas in a few years next year they're going to be playing in sacramento that will be the segue before their final destination of las vegas hopefully ruiz at some point in his career he'll be able to move from oakland and go to a more successful franchise and more fans will get to see his raw talent. I'll be sending this card off to get graded. And uh, this is going to be a hold, wait, and see approach. So second card, rookie card auto, Estoori Ruiz. I think I speak for many collectors when I say there are times where we purchase cards purely for aesthetics. And this is one of those occasions. I am holding a 2023 Topps Chrome Gilded of Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk, a.k.a. Pudge. His career spanned over 20 years between the Red Sox and the White Sox. He made 11 All-Star teams four times over the course of his career. He finished in the top 10 in MVP voting, and he was known to slug a home run or two, had 376 over the course of his career. One of the best to ever do it at the backstop position, maybe not so much defensively as he only won one gold glove, but uh, he was also nicknamed the Commander. And for good reason. And uh, yeah, this is the third card I have for your viewing. More than likely, I will not send this off to get graded. But uh, yeah, it's a great looking card to look at, in my opinion. The Baltimore Orioles have been doing an exceptional job in scouting young raw talent. And here is a prime example of that. You're looking at a 2021 Bowman Heritage autograph on-card auto at that. Number to 99 of Heston Kirstad who is right now lighting it up in AAA for the Norfolk Tides. In 15 games, 7 home runs, 27 RBI, posting a sick OPS of over 1,200. They should call him up. The question is, where are they going to fit him in? He is an outfielder and a first baseman. They got Ryan Mountcastle at first base. They pretty much have the outfield covered. So my guess is maybe wait for one of them to struggle or perhaps wait till the trade deadline, but you cannot contain talent like this. This is another card that I'm going to be sending off to get graded. This guy, 
Uh, he is a star in the making, as he has proven throughout his collegiate and minor league career. And it's only a matter of time before we see him in the big show. I've been trying to land this cat's auto for a minute, and over the weekend, I succeeded. This is an on-card auto from Top's Finest of six-time All-Star Nomar Garcia Para. From 97 to 2003, there was no doubt he was a top five player in the game. During that time, he made five All-Star appearances, won two batting titles, and had five top 10 MVP finishes. And then it was a culmination of injuries and PED suspicions that really derailed his career. He had a very public and nasty falling out with the Red Sox when he realized that they were using him as possible trade bait to acquire Maglio Ordonez. That failed, and then they tried to get A-Rod. He was part of that trade that fell apart. And after his time with the Red Sox, he went to the Cubs. And after that, he went to the Dodgers, where he had a bit of a, a rejuvenation. He made one more all-star appearance during his time with the Dodgers, but then after that, his production just fell off a cliff. He did play in Oakland the final year of his career, finished with a 313 batting average, another guy who was on a Hall of Fame trajectory at the start of his career, but uh, injuries got the best of him. Nevertheless, I am very happy to add this to my collection and you know, this card is worth maybe $20, $25, but because it's for my PC, I will send this one off to get graded, and uh, I will share the results with you whenever I get it back. And that is it for this week's episode of Card Show Pickups. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Have a marvelous Monday and a wonderful week.